Hi Neil again, I'm on a timber survey today in Durham and one of these, it's, I mean it's fully carpeted as you can see but it, this is the survey is on behalf of the lenders who want to know if there's any significant issues they need to be aware of before actually uh, going through with the loan on this property. So what I've done is I've actually rolled the carpet back and I've managed to locate a loose floorboard as you can see there. So I've popped the floorboard up and I'm going to just show you what we've got. So we've got a very shallow subfloor. We've got round about, I don't know, 80 mil between the underside of the joist and the oversight. Now this is a property built, I think it's in 1940. So it has got a damp proof course. I can see the, the physical damp proof course when I've lifted the floorboards. But what I've noticed here is along the underside of this joist, you can see the dust which runs along the underside and it's actually further in you probably can't see because of the light so but if you look on the oversight you can see the traces of the dust I'll try and get my torch in for a bit of extra light you can see the traces of the dust which correspond with the dust on the side of the joists and there you are you can see it further along now it's predominantly one joist that's affected and I would have well my best guess is that the majority of that section of the timber is made up of sapwood and therefore it's more vulnerable to uh, woodworm infestations or fungal decay but in this case it's it's wood boring weevil which gives us an indication that the, the moisture content of the timbers is too high and that's because of the lack of ventilation there's one air brick on the front elevation and there's two on the rear elevation but they're located about 300 above their subfloor void so if somebody's put the air bricks in thinking we've got a satisfactory ventilation and we haven't, there's no air movement whatsoever, even though it's a reasonably windy day. But again, it's just you know, one of the benefits of carrying out a subfloor inspection is that we can actually pick up things like this which normally wouldn't be seen. And all it's doing to us, the timber itself, I've probed it, it's actually not too bad and I'm sure it can be retained. But it's now a case of we need to do something to uh, increase the subfloor ventilation to this subfloor void. So I'll make the appropriate recommendations to the client. It'll be about installing additional air bricks and make sure we get a through flow of ventilation. But I just thought it was a nice little one. You know, when you pop it up, everything looks fine. And not, you know, really no significant damp to report upon. There's some plaster bridging, but that's about it. But then you pop the floorboard up, and this just gives us an indicator that there's a potential for more serious issues. But then we can address this with the client and advise them what to do next. Obviously, improve the subfloor ventilation. This type of wood boring insect, wood boring weevil, doesn't require any chemical treatment as the moisture content of the timbers reduces, and then the infestation will simply die out. So there's nothing to get too dramatic about. I haven't actually tested the moisture content of the timbers. So it'll be interesting to do that. I'll just get down. And then, so we've got our moisture meter. We'll set it onto pin mode. And obviously what I expect is that the moisture content is going to be above 20%. And there you are. The moisture content is 31% of the underside of the joist. And then if I take the moisture meter and put it on the upper surface of the joist, we've got 18%. So we've got a 12% difference between the upper edge and the lower edge, and obviously the lower edge is where the woodworm infestation, where the wood boring weevil infestation has taken place. So again, just another reminder of why it's important. If we can get the floorboards up, it's no great hardship. And it just gives us some information which we can relay back to the client. Obviously, they're making a significant investment, so it appears to make sure we get as much information to them as possible so they can make an informed decision. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks a lot now. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.